guys. Uh, welcome to Surviving in Hawaii, Hawaii's number one podcast. We're back here with Chris for, what is it, round one, round two? Three? Three? Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. So before we hit uh, play, we were talking off camera about your, I guess, your big sale. A couple weeks ago, you sold a bunch of packs to a friend, made a big sale. And uh, I just wanted to know, how did it make you feel? Because I know you're you're kind of stressing. You're, yeah. you're always like, can I do this? Can I sell these things? I love these things so much. It felt good after the fact. Um, I think beforehand I was a little nervous and anxious. You know, should I? Like, I went back and forth a lot on it because it's a big trade, yeah. and I know that if I broke it down, you know, and so individually over time. I could make more money. And so that was the big kicker keeping me from pulling the trigger. And I know I talked to you and you're like, you should do it because it's convenient. Yes, one person, it's no fees, right? No, fees. no eBay fees. That's no true. no chances of it getting lost in the mail or getting damaged or a scammer saying, Yeah, hey, these packs and they're open right? And eBay is gonna refund them no matter what. That's that's my whole thing. A big ticket item like that, you don't want to risk it. Like me, so I just I just purchased a a graded comet, right? And it came damaged. So the seller now is at a loss. Wasn't the seller's fault. Wasn't my fault. It was just got damaged in the shipping, so the slab mm -hmm. cracked. Mm -hmm. The corner got bent on the comet. So you know, I now I have to go and return it. Mm. And maybe find another one, higher price, I don't know. Mm. So the seller is the one that got really screwed. Yeah. So I so when I was pushing you to just sell it to the one guy, you know, it's you know. Yeah, at the end of the day, as much as I love Pokemon cards, I think the money is able to do more. Yeah. You have more freedom, you can invest it. Invest it, you can save it, you can, you know, rather than being all tied up. And, but as a collector and an investor, I also see like 10 years yeah. down the line that you want to. But are you in the hobby in 10 years? <laughs> or do you true. have a family and kids, you know, that you, you wouldn't be able to sell it, you wouldn't be able to have it anyway because you got to pay for your schools and stuff, you know? And to find a buyer who's yeah. willing to buy that much. In fact, he wanted more, <laughs> and I was like, So well, do you have more that you could sell him? Yes, but I figured what I do is I, I sell about 75% of it, okay. I about 25%, so that way I'm still able to do, you know, instead of selling something at 300, so that 400 or 450 or over time, yeah. which it hits 500. I think that's smart. I think that's really smart. Because you're holding on to 25%, it's not, not a lot, you know, I mean, it is a good amount of money, but it's still cool. Yeah. But I just feel like the momentum after you made that sale, the momentum for you just picked up crazy. <laughs> you killed it at the uh, Purge, you uh -huh, know? Uh -huh. The pop up shops. You went you went to uh, from the heart. From the heart. You're doing your ripping ship, so that momentum I was telling you about picked up, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like you're able to let things go. Uh huh. Uh huh. Part of the best for me, I th I've always told you the best part about collecting for me is the selling part. Mm. That's so so good thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. For me at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and, you know when you when you buy something and you're, you're like, oh, can I sell this or not? Like, what are the margins? Uh, how much profit can I make it? And then you, you do buy it, it comes. You do make thirty to fifty percent profit off of it. You're like, oh wow, this actually works. Like, <laughs> there's something to this, yeah. you know? And, and when money's coming in, you're like, I think I might be onto something here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have you shared your uh, your earnings with your, with your mom? Because yeah. I know your parents yeah. have been yeah. really supportive. Oh yeah, that that helped me get on board even more. Yeah. Um, knowing, especially when they got, they actually helped me a lot at Forage yeah. because it, it's more than a one-man job. Yeah, with all your products out on the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and so, <laughs> I think my dad really enjoys the selling as well. Yeah. He, 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 
he he used to be a lawyer, so he he's, he knows how to negotiate. Yeah, you know, like he had a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, did you give your parents the power to negotiate with customers there? Yes and no, you know, because I I'm the one who knows how much things are worth. Yeah. Um, my dad had some fun too, and he, he enjoyed it. And my mom is she's very organized. Yeah. Let's put the price stickers here. Let's display this over here. Yeah. yeah. You know, how do you, you know, she has a different skill set and strength that I don't have. Yeah, yeah. And so she's I noticed up. all your stickers on your price, they're really clean, really nice. Mm -hmm. Even from the pictures, it was easy to see. Yeah, this is sort of for this amount. Yeah. And that, that's... That kind of carry, I feel like that kind of carried over to your ripping shifts. Where like, when I see, when I see a ripping ship, prices are laid out nice and clean. I know exactly how much money to send you without even asking you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Ripping Chips is a whole other animal in itself. Yeah. It's fun. It's, it's definitely fun. It's a fun way to sell off things. You're an entertainer on there. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of have to be. Yeah. See, okay. I couldn't do that. I don't know. You could. I could. You could. I could. I could, but you're good at it. You're a natural. You know? I mean, I think YouTube probably, like, when I was in college, yeah. I wanted to be get more into YouTube, and I saw like all like Eva Eva and all these like boy guys yeah. doing it yeah. full time, and I was like, I just want to have fun. I just want to like, because I like to I like to rewatch, you know, yeah. similar to this podcast, you know, like even if like no one in the world else sees it, and when you look back on it ten years from now, like, hey, you remember that? And, yeah. and it's like you're documenting, yeah. you know, yeah. and it's also a way of of expressing yourself. Yeah. Like, if you think of, like, artists who, like, paint or you do your helmets, you do, you know, you're able to create something. And that's, that's, that's what I like. And so, um, but ribbon ships and box, box breaks, it's not only a way to sell off some product, but you, you meet people in the community. And you know, people jump on the live. They share their story. They share their collection. Um, there's momentum there, yeah. and it's fun, and I think it takes a lot of organization. Like I could fill this whole table with just like scissors and tape, and yeah, yeah, different yeah. extras, yeah. And, you know, top loaders, yeah. and you know, you have to have a system down. You gotta have your computer, the music, you know, like you want to make sure that yeah. everything. You know, I'm a kind of perfectionist. Yeah. Oh yeah. Your setup looks really. <laughs> you know, you get that mirror there. First time I seen somebody with a mirror there. Instead of having the dual camera, yeah, you know, I tried dual camera. I don't, and I kept picking up the echo, the ring, yeah, the yeah, sound. yeah, yeah. I was like, ah, it's, and then people are saying do Twitch because I know you can have like a really nice Twitch layout. Yeah, yeah. And I just, I've never really dove into Twitch. Yeah. So I have like no problem. You gotta learn the, you gotta learn the software. Yeah, your Instagram is yeah. is huge. So I think you have a a good follow up there. Yeah. So you you feel a lot of people once you hit live, a lot of people just join in. I know I I know I do. Yeah. Um, once I get that notification, <laughs> I join in. I'm at work though, so I can't stay uh, the yeah. whole time. Yeah. But like every chance I get, I I, I log in. Yeah. I see you wave at me. You know. Yeah. People pop in and out. Yeah. And I'm on there for like a few hours. So yeah. the more um the more it works, the more I, I want to grind and put time yeah. into it. Yeah. Um. It's not always successful. You gotta be willing, you know, like I met the other guy, uh, Pokemon Center 808. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, I was on there for like a couple hours and some like very few packs, and it's like, you gotta learn. Well, I know those guys, the successful people. So, Pokemon Center 808, um, even Ideal 808 Live uh -huh, Center, uh -huh. they pre sell their packs, right? So smart. So, are you, you think about doing that? So that way, yeah. that way, when you go live, yeah. you're just opening up. You're right, right. Or do you like, do you like the live aspect of it where somebody? I'm more off the right off there. The cuff. Yeah. I'm more um, compared to a pickup game, compared to a structure, you know, like quarters, yeah. half time. Like, let's just run five on five. Let's go. You know, yeah. four. Let's go. <laughs> just, you know, um, I do. See how that's beneficial to have it, you know, where people are pre-ordering or yeah, yeah. having the website linked to that. Um, just, like, hey, if you want three packs, just 
demo and we'll run it, you know. So it's probably more organized and more structured. These guys have more experience than, than I do, so there's no wrong way to do it. Um, I just I like to just start live and then let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> now, yo, how's your inventory? You ready to roll? Some things I have a lot of, and some things I'm very low on. You know. So what's moving right now? What kind of Booster packs and like have, are pretty easy to kind of move. I feel like. So your booster packs though, what is what is what are you constantly working? What's constantly? Um, yeah, the heroes. Yeah, heroes is hot right now. What about the JV? Uh, um, it depends on like who who comes in and who's who who wants to rip some Japanese and who yeah. wants evolutions or hidden fates and so everyone has their favorite. I think once I put EV Heroes there, it, it, it took attention away from the other packs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because you got EV Heroes at such a good price too. It's like, EV Heroes, the newest set, or Evolutions, or Hidden Fates, you know? So, EV Heroes is a killer set. My idea is variety. When you go to a candy store, you don't just want to buy Snickers. You want to buy, oh, you got Twix, oh, you get Skittles, oh, gummy bears. And then you get a whole like, shoot, just like light them up. Let's, yeah. let's, you know, and that's I I don't like when I'm missing like a popular set. Like, oh yeah, shiny fates. Oh sorry, we're sold out. We're out of stock. So you're out of shiny fates. Yeah. So I got. I'm your guy. You know I got. Like, you know I got a lot. I got yeah. a lot of that. Yeah. You know. I was calling it Mark II. I was like, yeah, yeah, burning shadows. You got um. What does Mark have? Uh, he's got. What's he been doing? Has he been selling his product? He has. Yeah. Um, I know he, he's been so busy with work and the baby that he doesn't even respond to a lot of Facebook messages and you know all customers. Yeah. 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 I mean that's just that's just life. Yeah. You know. And he's got a good job, so I, I don't I don't blame that. You know. Like, yeah. He doesn't need to sell it. For me, I'm responding to every Facebook message I get. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> what do you need? What got everything you need? You know. Yeah. <laughs> Meet up with you. <laughs> yeah. But again, you got to be careful with. Facebook market, you know, you, I'm a very trusted person, so you just have to be careful with Are some you, you met some sketchy people? Mm -hmm. low ballers, a lot of share. low ballers. Yeah, low ballers for sure, like, how do you, how do you, all? Uh, how do you respond to that? Say, you know, going, say you got something on there, ETV for 100 bucks and that 60. What do you do? You respond? Do you just block them? You... I try to work with that more. Than that. Um, once I get like a really bad vibe or something that I feel like it's a waste of time or it's not going yeah. anywhere, then you know if they're not interested, move on to the next. I got 14 other messages to go yeah. through. You know, um, I, I really am big on the mystery boxes. I still think that is probably the best way to unload and sell and have something where the customer is still happy. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's, it's how, how would you like it if I said tomorrow a box is coming in the mail, you don't know what's in it, yeah. but it's Pokemon cards. Yeah. That's exciting, yeah. you know? I mean, I get the thrill of it. And, uh, so you like, you like curating mystery boxes? To me, that is, I would rather create one mystery box for 300 bucks, then do a live stream for four hours and sell to 20 different now, people. Now, do you have your mystery boxes already curated? Like, do you have a, a bunch of 300 ones already made, just ready to I don't, sell out? I don't. But I've simplified it to where it's one PSA graded card, okay. grades 8 to 10, and 15 booster packs. Yeah. And I'll throw like a plushie or figure, some extra, you know, yeah. 10, 20 dollar items. Um, it's a little more structured now. Because people want an idea, you know. They want to. Yeah, not a complete mystery box. Now, do you make it so that some people get uh, like a bonus? Like, oh, so out of your uh, one that might get, I don't know, that. $350 worth of value. Yeah. You no, know, you just keep it 300 Because the thing is, Whenever I see that, I, I feel like it is a draw, it is an attention yeah. grabber, but 
whenever I see them, like, who's keeping this guy accountable? That's in the back of my mind. I'm like, okay, you said there's a vintage Charizard in 20 of these boxes, and I'm going to be the more lucky guy to get it, you know? Like, who's, who's to say you didn't sell it already to your best friend? Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's true. So, you never know. Yeah. Yeah, well, those kind of chance stuff is a little more risky, but it's it works. I'm not against it. How many mystery boxes have you sold uh, throughout the last week or two? I'd say 50 in total since I started. 50? Wow. Um, yeah, it, it's evolved. It's evolved. It's kind of, kind of starting to be what you're going for. No? Uh, some people recognize and, and you know they ask them, like, oh, how did you even know I sell mystery boxes? Yeah. You know, and It's all about advertising and marketing. So anytime you are meeting someone or putting something on social media, hey, I also do mystery boxes. Put it on my website. Um, are these local people or mainland? Both. Oh. Both. Um, so the local people, how do you uh, how do you handle the shipping or do you just meet them up? Meet up with them. Both. Um, yeah, and, and I think returning customers is a big. Not how to you know like. Let's say you open a grocery store and let's say you sell a bad sandwich or something, they're never gonna come back again. You give them a good sandwich, you throw an extra bag of chips, you know, you treat them with respect, yeah. Yeah. they won't come back again. Yeah. So, and again and again. Yeah. Yeah. So, returning customers and good rapport goes a long way. That's good, you're building a good customer base. I mean, there's there's a couple people that go buy from you monthly, like I'm their main. <laughs> Like, oh, this yeah, is the yeah. Andrew, I know he's legit. I know he shows up on time. Yeah. He, he's fair, you know, respectful. Nothing, you know, just straight Pokemon card trade. And he's got a lot of stuff and in inventory. And you set up a, a, a place and meet up, you know, and it works. And then you just go with that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, what else? What else you got planned? Mystery boxes, ripping ships. <laughs> what are the ideas you got cooking? So, I think it's good and bad to to diversify and sell in many different places yeah. because you can put a bunch of things on eBay and it could take a week or two for some things to sell and, and it's good to promote on Facebook Market here and there and on Instagram or you know the car. You, you got to try all different avenues yes. and then when one is really working you hone in a little bit more. like here's my secret plan my secret plan yeah. is whatnot okay what's not whatnot whatnot i don't know if you heard of that yeah app. heard of it it's so they do up. they do uh what live auction yeah live ships yeah. yeah so it's an app you download yeah anybody can be a content creator on there no you gotta be approved. Yes. And it could take weeks. You gotta send an application. Um, but let's say um, you wanna sell Iron Man helmets. You got 10 Iron, Iron Man helmets or um, Mandalorian helmets. Here it is, custom made, chrome. You know, here's yeah. the dimensions of it. It's, you know, you share the facts. Yeah. Boom, you got one minute. And then if someone in the last 10 seconds, say it's at 100 bucks. Yeah. Someone bids, oh, you get an extra 10 seconds. Oh. So you can, you can have a sudden death, or you can have it added more time. And then that adds to the, the excitement, you know? Yeah. Like, am I gonna win? I'm gonna get outbid. Yeah. So, so is it, uh, it's hard to get an account to be a, a, a seller on there? Or are you already? I'm not, I'm not already, yeah. um, but you, you send an application. But I do know that the more selling experience you have, the more likely they will approve you. Because they don't just, I understand why they want to filter. Yeah, they want the pros on there. But I think because it's such a new thing, um, being one of the first in it, yeah. it gets you a higher viewer or reputation yeah. of, you know, because right now there's like, if you go on right now, there's only like four people on my, like right now. Wow. And so people around the nation, you got four options. Yeah. If you do a Pokemon Yeah. yeah. Um, but there's like sports stuff. Yeah. yeah. You gotta look into it. It's exciting. It's, yeah. it's a great thing. Yeah. So that's a game thing. That's your new game plan. I mean, rather than waiting for things to sell on eBay, yeah. 
And even if something sells for 10, 20 bucks cheaper, yeah. you're still, there's some items that will sell higher. Yeah. It'll make profit value. And it goes like this. Yeah. So, in a, in a night, you can sell off 50 items. That's, that's huge for a seller to be able to let things go when you need to. Yeah. Rather than eBay auctions, no one's going to set their timer to four in the afternoon to come online and <laughs> the last second, you know? Well, um, when you when you show up and running, I'll give you some of my cards to sell for me as consignment if you're interested. I can you know? move it. Yeah, let's do it. That So that app is a game changer. Yeah, let's do it. Instant auction and access to, you know, you got like 30, 50 people watching. Yeah. And I still have to learn in and out, you know, because it's still an experiment. So, but you can sell like pretty much anything you want. And there's someone in the world who, oh, five bucks for, for this, and then oh, six dollars, and it just goes up, and you're like, but you have to, you have to be able to display it and, and be organized yeah. is key. Like, I think they take care of the shipping labels and all mm -hmm. that stuff. Yeah. But like even international can get a little messy, but it looks fun. It looks doable. Yeah. I'm so that's, for you, man. that's one thing I want to look into. But it's all strategizing, you know. Like even with business, any kind of business is what's gonna work. Yeah. What? What's? What am I? What am I capable of doing? Do I have the means to do it? Do I have the smarts or the knowledge because when you don't know have the knowledge you don't know how something works that's when you goof up and you make mistakes and yeah. you lose money yeah the more experience you get the more comfortable you get it's second nature you yeah. know yeah you can control people trust you you don't make mistakes you know i was watching dragon ball super today yeah. and it's when uh, goku's fighting jiren and he's getting bust up and then all of a sudden he, like jiren's throwing like energy blast at like Krillin and his friends and Goku like okay that's it you know like yeah. he like there's something that switches and, and like where he it forces him yeah. to do better yeah. to be stronger to overcome adversity you know um, like that yeah. and it's just like every anime you know Naruto My Hero Academia you know, Demon Slayer like there's always a guy who isn't doesn't really know what he's doing kind of fumble you kind of a goof, goofball but then like okay Things are on the line. I need to buckle down. I need to grind, I need to train. I need to put in the time and the work, and then the results and the growth. Like for the tree, you know, it takes the nutrients, the the, the watering, strengthen over time, and and then you start to see the fruit. Yeah. But if you don't water the plant, yeah. it, it's gonna die out. Yeah. Yeah. So that applies to all things in life, not just business. Like relationships, yeah. spirituality, um, health. Yeah. I gotta start eating better, dude. You know, like. Well, I saw your weights. You've been lifting up. You've been working out. You know, so. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the thing. Like, if, if you let's say like. Let's say one thing out of your health sphere is is out of whack. Let's say I sleeping at six a.m. or something, five a.m. <laughs> if you wake up and your whole day is like, you don't you feel like crap. Yeah. You don't want to do anything. Yeah. Let's say you eat like way too much, you know, junk food. Yeah. Like, oh, I don't. And then it throws off your mood, throws off your, your game, and, and then and that that just leads just kind of snowballs. Yeah. So you if you okay, you know, you do some meditation, you start your day off right, you schedule in, you want to put an hour in here. Get this done. Here's my list of that you write stuff down. So you've been setting goals and stuff now, and writing things down. You have having you have like having a daily planner. Yeah. I gotta get more organized. You know? That's good. Yeah. Some even when I write, sometimes my thoughts are like, yeah. And it's like, then you gotta like, what's most important out of these ten things that I wrote? What do I need to like make sure happens for sure? Okay, laundry. Okay, eventually I can. That's not as urgent as I gotta ship this out by 2 p.m. you know like yeah. so you gotta prioritize what's um, you know who you respond to quick or how do you you know what you prioritize what's important yeah. I like it man 
you know, ever since you made your big sale, you've been, <laughs> you got this huge momentum now, it's, you know? It's before that, but that definitely helped financially to um, give me some... Give you a lot of confidence too, you know? Yeah, yeah, I mean... There's something that, you know, I think I got a little bit lucky with the vintage cards because that was really just a uh, Craigslist trade and it ended up making me over $10,000 wow. over time. That's crazy. And I just held on to it, yeah. you know? And some things in, in, in any collecting hobby, Star Wars or Yu-Gi-Oh! or like the Dragon Ball Super, the first, you know, first edition of it, whatever that comes out first, people sleep on it. Yeah, it's cool, but they're not thinking 10, 20 years from now when that becomes over, Five thousand dollars, you know. So some things you need to ship over. Some things you need to flip and just pump yeah, out. Yeah. But you gotta kind of, you know, there's no handbook for. Hey, is graded cards gonna do well in the future, or is it gonna tank? Yeah. Who know? You know, and you gotta kind of trust your gut. Yeah. Do the research. Yeah, I think you're in a great spot. <laughs> We're excited to see. How far you can take this business, you know? Yeah. You have to be able to take risks. Yeah. To be, you know, and, and, and people are going to tell you otherwise. You got to know who to listen to, who to trust, yeah. who's going to support you. Um, you got to follow kind of your instincts, you know? And that's kind of where my mind's at. And, and, you know, all this work ethic and discipline and time management like again it, it goes outside of just selling cards so when you get you know when you get your heart and your mind and your, you know, your focus in you can accomplish anything you want you just have to know what you want to be successful in, what your goals are who you want to be and who you want to become and why is that important? So this is actually I'm a therapist. Okay. And my, my therapist is smart. It's kinda like you ever see the Matrix and it's like the Oracle? Yeah, yeah, she yeah. just tells you what you need to hear and you're like, yeah. oh, I need to write that down. Yeah. yeah. And she she talks about having an anchor. Yeah. Meaning what is the purpose of why you feel something or why you want to accomplish something, yeah. why you want to go into counseling or pursue a business, what, is it because of the money? Why do you need the money? Yeah. Oh, because you want to support your, your family. Why is family important to you? What, you know, thinking long-term and short-term, why? Why do you want to be happy? Who, who are you doing this for? Um, and the purpose and the meaning behind, because when you get that, then, then it becomes easy to understand, this is why I'm putting myself through training or driving out to a, to do a job or because in the large scheme of things you know it makes sense but if you if you're missing the the big picture the anchor the, the reason behind why why you're eating better or sleeping better or meditating and things you don't even feel like doing sometimes at all and, and it's like no because this is investing in myself and depositing for the larger idea of Becoming better, like I, again, it's this, the the anime stuff, you know. It's like it's why and, and what's your purpose, and, and that's gonna push you into not just financial success, but I think um, relational and, and all, all things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, let's let's stop here. Okay. Take a break, and then we'll bring the other guys in. All right. Yeah.